Hello guys, welcome to the reveal video for the project car for L555 Corp. And this is going to be the first video um, of the set series for the drift, uh, the project cars for what we're going to do with it and all different aligner mods. Got a list of things that we want to do with it, but of course we'll have to do the introduction first of all. So, um, we're currently here in my driveway. Um, it's where all mods are going to be getting taken down. Um, so, the car's running at the moment, you might be able to hear the background, if not it's pretty windy to be honest, but um, shoot, might as well just get into it. So the car we bought was a 1992 or 1990, I can't remember. Um, it's on a J-Reg, uh, Unos Roadster. So it's the Unos version. Um, it's 1.6, came with power steering, ABS I think, a uh, number of other goodies. All I've done since I've got the car is basically wash it. And it's pretty hard to see that at the moment considering how mock it the car looks. So it does look fairly straight. Um, there's a couple of little bits on it that need seeing too, but that'll come in time. Um, Bodywork wise, there's one dent along this side, passenger side I think. A um, couple of little rust holes. Um, I bought the car a week Saturday ago, so it's pretty alright. Um, you can see the car is pretty solid looking. The only thing, the major thing that it failed on, because it's not going to be at the moment, is said little Russell. Nothing major, uh, I'll be addressed. Um, I cannot be the best to do welding guys, so I won't be showing that on any repairs on that. Got off some funky Lexus style rear headlamps. I have got their originals as well, which I think I'll be putting back on and on today. Fair enough. Um, also with this, um, it's actually has got a hard top as well, got that included in the sale. Um, from a guy called Gus, he's fairly local to sell. As he picked the car up on Saturday, uh, last Saturday, and was pretty awesome. It has a lovely black and tan leather interior, which looks pretty nice. Just going to jump in for you. So, this is cockpit. Got some nice little chrome features all about it, but I've seen some pretty nice mods with different options on there. Um, I say it's one to six, sounds pretty throaty to be honest. So it's pretty nice. It's got this lovely aftermarket steering wheel um, that will be getting replaced because it's not really to my style. I'd quite fancy something like more original with leather and such. So with regards to the car itself, um, for those of you who have never seen the inside of a Nunos, which is pretty much like myself. Um, there's not much in the way of switch gear. So on this side, there's three buttons. Uh, got a fog light one here for the rear, um, and then two blanks. This one here, I think, originally had the front fog lamps in it because I can't find a switch to turn them on. So I think it might be some wire embedded in the back of there. Unfortunately, at the moment, horn doesn't work. So that will be need to be addressed before the MOT as well. Over here we have our standard hazards and one of the best buttons in the whole car. Raise up the head lamps. Oh, I could sit there all day and be pretty fairly amused with that. Um, we have it's a single thin radio. I might get something a bit more modern there than blank space underneath. Over here we have our glove box. Um, beside that's courtesy lamp, courtesy lamp on this side below the cigarette. So on here we have an indicator, switch gear and also to activate the lamps, which the lamps up again. On this side is our wipers. However, no matter what setting you have it on, they don't really seem to get any quicker. Um, down here we have some cup holders. Pretty short to throw gearbox as it is. Don't believe it has a short shifter in it, but something that might be getting installed as well. Cup holders, handbrake, and it, this actually took me utterly ages to work out. However, in this little compartment here, we have the boot release and the fuel release cap. And back here, there is a bit of cubby for space. 
which is not bad, nice chrome rollover bar. The bag window in the soft top is pretty, pretty misty to say the least. But, you know, it might be getting fixed, I'll need to get that addressed anyway if I want to see out the back. Um, for those who don't know, quick bit of cool trivia that I found out while looking about. These um, internal door handles here, apparently, are the exact same as what you used in the Aston Martin DB7. Go figure. Never knew that myself, but um, I see you live and learn these kind of things. So I'm just going to pop the bonnet, which, or at least, just right down there. And we'll have a look at what's under the bonnet. Just be a second. And I can never find this thing first time. There we go. So under here, looks fairly, fairly standard, fairly mucky for a car that's done 191,000 kilometres, which I think translates to roughly 120,000 miles. So it's the B or the N6 engine, they'll be in the 1.6. Again, looks fairly standard. Seems to have an aftermarket cone filter on there. Looks pretty grotty, so that'll be getting changed. Um, other than that, it looks like it's had relatively new silicon, genuine silicon wires put in for the spark plugs. Everything else looks like it hasn't been touched in quite some time. And also, yeah, a part, uh, it's got aircon as well, this car, that's what I just remembered was the other part. Um, so I believe it has ABS, aircon and power steering, being the UNOS model. So we'll just drop this back down again. So all in all, this video has just been a bit of a quick one, just to reveal the car itself. Um, I'll try and just out all the windows, guys, it's been a bit of a nightmare. And then hopefully we can get the first mod video up pretty quickly. So that's probably going to be more of a fixing one. Um, most likely to tackle the horn and steering wheel first of all. And then we can take it from there. But guys, that's me signing off for today. Remember to like and subscribe to keep up with the events with the car project as well. So, as I said, this is pretty much going to be the end of the video. Um, this is just going to be our workspace where we do all of our workings. Pretty basic, but we've got a shelter up there. And in case you didn't want to know, that's the mini over yonder. That shows my daily. So as you guys like, like and subscribe, so keep up to date with the adventure of our Unos. I will also have the name for the car. I'll reveal that in the next video. Maybe next video. We'll see what happens. Um, but guys, that's me signing off. I'll catch you on the flip side.